this is what I usually look like at work. Any morning words of wisdom? Sleep when you can. Work hard, sleep hard. Welcome to my 6 a.m. morning routine. You guys know just how much I love waking up early and clearly Kevin is a huge fan of waking up early as well. It's truly amazing to me how two people who love sleeping so much ended up picking a career that requires us to wake up early and stay up late. If you're new to the channel, doesn't matter how you got here, welcome, my name is Mickey, I'm a registered nurse. I normally work 12 hour shifts, but today's kind of a special one. I'm working an eight hour admin shift, so I can kind of go into work whenever I want to. I hope you don't mistake this as my actual morning routine because generally I'm very unproductive. I wake up five minutes before I need to leave. I barely brush my teeth and then I head out the door. As you may have noticed from the recent videos on my channels, I have gotten fully domesticated. She is cooking, she is cleaning. I don't even know who I am anymore. The 20s are, are a weird time I think everyone has to go through. But anyways, we're washing rice. We're washing it three times until the water is completely clear, but we're gonna pack some musubis for Kevin and I. We're both currently working at places where the food sucks. So in general, we try to pack lunch when we can. TikTok transition in three, two, one. Okay, we're now in our work outfit. If I don't work out before going to work, I sure as heck am not gonna do it after work. So this is truly the only time. Also for your irrelevant fun fact of the day, I actually finally got a Groupon for laser hair removal. So she's gonna be hairless soon. Seeing socks with flip flops literally gives me goosebumps. But okay, let's put on our running shoes and head out to the gym. Before y'all come for me, yes I am back vaccinated, but I choose to wear my mask because nobody wants to see my face anyways. I have the world's tiniest ears and the first generation AirPods are literally the only thing that fits in my ears. As a proud introvert and homebody, you guys know the last thing I want to do is see other people in the gym. So typically the earlier I go, the less people there are. I always breathe a sigh of relief when I see it's pitch dark in the gym because the lights are motion activated, which means that there is nobody there yet. The gym is pretty cozy, but it's got pretty much everything I need aka just a treadmill and a yoga mat. As much as I love humans, I also have no faith in humanity, so I always wipe down my equipment before and after. Growing up, I was always a runner, so I always feel like starting off on the treadmill makes me feel my best. I typically will run at a 7.30 or 8 minute mile pace and do a mile or two. Once I've done that, I will head to the yoga room, clean a mat, and I'll usually do the Alexis Ren ab workout. I've done it so many times now, I pretty much have it memorized, and then I just make my own modifications from there. You know, when you hit your 20s, you really start to feel the effects of aging, or at least I am feeling the effects of aging because I can no longer eat whatever I want, barely exercise and look the way that I want. Now everything requires extensive hard work. When I head back home, there's always a little furry friend who is ready to greet me. I almost died the other day when one of you guys sent me a DM and said that you almost forgot that Lucky's name was actually Lucky because I have been calling him Buttos for this whole time. Anyways, most of the times I am a single mom to Buttos and I do the majority of his care and walks, but Kevin will definitely help out on the weekends. Okay, another outfit change. Now we are in our scrubs and getting ready to go to work. And you guys know it's not my morning routine until you see that scorching hot cup of green tea. After my workouts, I usually don't wash my face again since I've already washed it in the morning, but I'll use the fresh kombucha cleansing treatment to kind of get any of the dirt off. A touch of concealer for all of the pimples. Recently, I've been getting so many blackheads and pimples on my chin, which are 100% attributed to mask wearing. Been absolutely obsessed with these Glossier lip balms that just give you a little bit of lip color. And then finally, we fill in the brows. I thought I would talk about this because it's one of my most frequently asked questions and I don't think I've ever actually talked about it on YouTube. But I want to talk about the scrubs that I'm wearing. So recently I have been switching out my fig scrubs for wearing the Raffaella top. But I don't know, something about this like neckline is just so flattering and I feel like the scrubs themselves are also more forgiving, which I really like. Um, my favorite pants are in fact the joggers because they are really comfortable and just stylish and I feel like with a pair of like New Balances it's so freaking cute in terms of sizing i am size double extra small in tops and bottoms i will say that i throw all of my scrubs in both the washer and the dryer and so over time not like 
a few washes but over time they definitely do shrink a little bit um, and so it definitely doesn't hurt to size up if you are on the cusp between sizes for reference I am 5'3 a little bit more on the petite side and in normal clothes I wear a size extra small um, and so for scrubs I usually like to size down a little bit because they tend to be a little bit baggier I have so much time this morning because Kev is still sleeping so I actually decided to swap out my scrubs. I'm going to wear this set today instead. I'm going to show you how I tuck my scrubs because it's probably one of my most frequently asked questions. So what I do is I tuck everything in and then I tighten the waistband and then once I do that I pull my tops out a little bit. I pull it out a little bit, fold it in front and then cinch it in the back. And then that'll usually give you a pretty flattering waistline. I do also wear scrub caps at work, so... This is what I usually look like at work. Um, I love these scrub caps because before this I was wearing bouffant caps and the bouffant caps are super itchy and cause a ton of static and these ones just tie up in the back. Now, if you guys are wondering why the beginning of my morning routines always start off with voiceover, it's because I'm usually so darn cranky in the mornings that I can't bring myself to speak um, when I have to wake up early. Somebody's sleeping in. Two last frozen Costco croissants. Sleep when you can. Work hard, sleep hard. So I have this is a balanced meal. Yeah. Just like we have every other morning. No meal is a balanced meal. Kept scrolling the Reddit watch thread. Can you show us the fit? What color scrubs are your favorite? The pink one. Really? Yes. What size are you in your scrubs? I think it's just small top, small bottom. I'm a very small person. Kevin's actually 5'3". <laughs> I guess that would make me like 4'11". Maybe you are. I'm 4'11"? You never know. Okay. Kev's 5'3 and I'm 4'11", if anyone's asking. What is this undershirt? Why is it so high? <laughs> Yeah, I poop. Can I include that in the vlog? I was biting. What time do you normally have to go to work? Like 5.45. This is the latest day you've ever started? Almost. I have to save some lives. Wow. This is it like Grey's Anatomy? Have you ever watched Grey's Anatomy? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm also gonna pack my bags and get ready to head out. Thank you so much for following along our morning routine. As always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. That would really help us out. And you can subscribe if you wanna see more videos from our channel. Um, we post usually once a week, sometimes twice a week. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget you're a 10 out of 10. Don't let anyone ever make you feel otherwise. And just remember, your best is enough. Bye.